This is Trey Ann with the FRVTA and I am down in West Palm Beach today at the South Florida Fairgrounds as we finish setups for the 2020 West Palm Beach RV Show. Now this is the largest RV show that's held every year in Southeast Florida and if you're an RVer or thinking about RVing, this is definitely the place that you want to be. I am going to be walking around today taking video of the types of things that you can expect to see at the show and posting that up later on our social media channels. So stay tuned. I'm here in the Copley's RV display and they have a ton of different units here, but one of the things that caught my eye were the teardrop trailers. Not sure if you can see it there behind me, uh, but uh, these are super cool, super light, and can be towed with practically anything. One of the questions I get uh, asked a lot is, will there be used units at the show? Uh, there are used here. Uh, I don't have the full list of what's available, but I ran across these uh, C's that I thought you might want to take a look at. I'm here in the Great Time RV display, and they have brought an ultralight toy hauler. I'm very excited to check this out tomorrow because I personally am always looking for a lightweight trailer that I can haul a bunch of toys with me. We have a nice tent camper here on display in a Great Times KZ roundup here. I see a sign down there that the these were founded and hand built by the Amish. I'm over in the Palm Beach RV display where they are frantically setting up all of the fifth wheels and travel trailers. Uh, they brought so many, I don't know if they have any left on their lot. <laughs> and here by popular demand, we have the Airstream travel trailer display and some really impressive Airstream B units. I'm here in the Gerzeni's RV World display and they brought quite a few Regency B pluses to show. Now these are something that you normally can't see in Southeast Florida. So if you're shopping for a camper van or a B plus, it's a great opportunity for you to come check it out. Here in the North Trail display, they have a ton of really nice class A's. And then hidden in the back is this beast. Can't wait to check the inside. I'm here in the giant recreation world display where they are setting up really some of everything. I see some big class A's, some ultra lights, some fifth wheels, some nice class C's there, some really massive travel trailers. I, I love the, uh, the sliding glass door on this one. That has to be beautiful inside. Here at Camper's Inn, they've uh, corralled quite a selection of Phoenix cruisers. There's even more around the corner there uh, that they're still trying to get set up. But Here's another view of the Copley's RV display. You can see they have a couple of beautiful uh, used units right there and there's some of their fifth wheels travel trailers and those cute little teardrops standing here in front of the optimum rv display and they have some really neat trailers i love the huge windows that they have and the nose cap also though i see some of the uh the flagstaff e-pros that i really enjoyed at the Jacksonville show and some cool classes down there I'm going to see tomorrow. Here in the Sun Camper RV display and I see a selection, quite a selection actually, from ultralights to fifth wheels, some Nexus class C's, a lot of toy haulers over here. Starting to set up some of the uh, vendor tents here. Most of the vendors come in either later tonight, however, or first thing in the morning. This is gonna be a huge uh, a parts display from 
one of the local dealers, I can't remember which one, but they're gonna have a huge tent full of RV parts and accessories. Plus we'll have vendors of all different types along the row here. I've been walking around all morning looking at all the different RVs out here. And I tell you what, I wish we were open because I would be getting me some of this. Looks amazing. Can't wait till tomorrow for some fresh lemonade and some sugar pretzels. Yummy. There are so many travel trailers and fifth wheels here. I don't know how they're going to get them all in place before the gates open tomorrow morning. Uh, the guys are working hard. I'm not sure if you can see them behind me, but uh, we should be ready. 